Hi friends, welcome to today's class. So today's question is, how many different weights can be formed with the lattice of the weight pizza such that the vowels always come together? So what is the given question? We are having a weight pizza here and you have to arrange such that the vowels are always coming together. So what are the vowels here? You are, here you are having I and A. So I and A are the vowels. So when you are arranging the weights, I and A should always come together. That is the condition. So suppose you are writing a word P, I, A, Z, Z. It is acceptable because I and A are coming together. Then again when another word possible is I, A, Z, Z, P. So likewise you can form as many words as possible but the only condition is I and A must always come together. Or you can form A, I, Z, Z, P. That is also possible. The order is not given. Only the vowels should always come together. So I and A should always come together. So how many different weights can be formed? So how to do this problem? So here you have to arrange letters such that I and A are together. So P, Z, Z, I, A. And this I and A should always come together. So it is one entity. So how many different letters are here? One. 2, 3 and 4. Since I and A should always come together, you are considering it as a single entity. So there are 4 different letters that are to be arranged. So how many different ways 4 different letters can be arranged? In 4 factorial ways. You have already learned that in order to arrange n things, there are n factorial ways. Similarly, in order to arrange 4 items, you are having 4 factorial ways. Okay. Now this I and A consist of two letters. There are two letters I and A. So how many ways these two letters I and A can be arranged? They can be arranged in two factorial ways. If there were three letters, it could be arranged in three factorial ways. So here there are two letters. So these two letters can be arranged in two factorial ways. So finally your, your solution will be 4 factorial into 2 factorial. So this I and A should always come together. So you should consider I and A as a single entity. It is the first step. So you will be totally having 1, 2, 3 and 4. There are 4 different letters that have to be arranged. So 4 different letters can be arranged in 4 factorial ways. Then this I and A is consisting of 2 letters. So these 2 letters can be arranged again in 2 factorial ways. So finally your solution will be 4 factorial into 2 factorial. So what you will be getting? 4 into 3 into 2 into 2. 4 into 3 is equal to 12. 12 into 2 24. 24 into 2 is equal to 48. So 48 is your final answer. Now question number 3. Find the number of permutations of the letters of the word remains such that the vowels always occur in odd places. So what is the given question? You are having a word remains. You have to arrange these letters in such a way that the vowels are always occurring in odd places. So how many vowels are there? E is a vowel, A is a vowel and I is a vowel. So th these three vowels should always occur in odd places. So this is an interesting question. So let's see how many odd places are there. That is the first step. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. So there are 7 positions. There are 7 letters. So there are 7 positions. And how many odd places will be there? So 1 is an odd place. 3 is an odd place. 5 is an odd place. And 7 is an odd place. So there are 4 odd places. And how many vowels are there? 3 vowels are there. So you have to arrange 3 vowels in 4 odd places available. How you can do that? You can do that in 4 P3 ways. There are 4 places and you have to arrange 3 available vowels in these 4 places. So you can do it in 4 P3 ways. Here the order does matter. So it is a case of permutation. So 4 P3 ways you can arrange 3 vowels in 4 different odd places available. So for P3 what is the formula? N P3 is equal to N factorial divided by N minus R factorial. So here you will be having 4 factorial divided by 4 minus 3 factorial which is equal to 1 factorial. So finally your answer will be 4 factorial. 4 factorial is equal to 24. Now what are remaining? 
here the consonants are remaining you have arranged the vowels now you have to arrange your consonants so how many consonants are there 1 2 3 and 4 so four consonants are there and you have to arrange these four different consonants how you can arrange them you can arrange four different things in four factorial ways so you can arrange consonants in 4 into 3 into 2 is equal to again 24 ways so what will be your total where it's possible it will be equal to 24 into 24 you can arrange your vowels in 24 ways and you can arrange your consonants in 24 ways so totally you will be having 24 into 24 is equal to 576 ways you can arrange the letters of the word remains thank you for watching